Have you ever considered a world in which the term billionaire was an exception, a far-off fantasy? During this historical context, one extraordinary individual broke the pattern and became the first billionaire in history. Interested in knowing more? Let your curiosity run wild as we delve into the world of John D. Rockefeller, a name linked with groundbreaking vision and an unwavering determination to succeed. Born on July 8, 1839 in Richford, New York, Rockefeller was the second of six siblings. Despite his early foray into farming, his love for numbers brought him to Mercantile College in Folsom, where he majored in bookkeeping. This foundation, together with his visionary leadership in the oil business, was what made his road to unmatched success possible. Imagine a young man entering Cleveland driven by aspirations that are bigger than life. John D. Rockefeller, fresh out of college and armed with a diploma, took on the task of learning the complexities of bookkeeping. His abilities soon attracted the interest of well-known agricultural product manufacturers Hewitt and Tuttle. He immersed himself in the world of business and, rather than merely working, absorbed, learned, and changed every day, forming the foundation for the future tycoon he would become. At the young age of 20, Rockefeller teamed up with Maurice B. Clark in a risky business venture in 1859, investing $4,000 in a farm goods company. The American Civil War then broke out like a wildfire. Unexpectedly, their company prospered in the middle of the turmoil, but Clark's relationship with Rockefeller was short-lived since he finally sold his stake in the business, opening the door for Rockefeller's stunning debut in the expanding oil sector. The United States underwent an enormous amount of change in the 1800s, primarily due to the booming Industrial Revolution. By establishing connections between far-flung areas, the railroad expansion enabled a record volume of raw material and commodity transportation. During this transition, oil became an essential resource that lit houses and powered industry. This was the platform that established Rockefeller's reputation. Due to the demand for kerosene lamps to illuminate the shadows, Rockefeller saw a promising future in the expanding oil industry. In the late 1850s, the oil business was about to undergo a revolution. An oil rush was started in 1859 in Titusville, Pennsylvania. Later on, Rockefeller took this opportunity to launch Rockefeller, Andrews, and Flagler, a predecessor of the Standard Oil Company, which in 1868 would become the largest petroleum refiner in the world. Rockefeller led a group of visionaries in the establishment of the Standard Oil Company against a backdrop of aspiration and creativity. You won't be shocked to hear that. By the end of the 1800s, Rockefeller was the unchallenged titan of the oil business, controlling nearly 90% of the country's oil refineries. But the tides started to change when Thomas Edison introduced his miraculous light bulb in 1879, which threatened the dominance of the oil business. However, difficulties were nothing new to Rockefeller. He made clever agreements with large railways that sped up and decreased the cost of transport. The U.S. economy was all the rage when trust formations were formed during this thrilling period of industrial expansion. Equipped with his exceptional economic knowledge, Rockefeller skillfully navigated this structure, uniting an extensive number of oil refineries under Standard Oil's control. This formidable combination turned into the key to cutting expenses and streamlining operations like a well-oiled machine. But even in this age of luxury, there were dark corners. Rockefeller and his Standard Oil Company gained notoriety for their monopolistic and anti-competitive actions. As a result of this regulatory neglect, legal disputes were approaching like an earthquake, which ended in extensive legal proceedings that saw the massive Standard Oil order dissolve. Despite this, John D. Rockefeller kept amassing significant riches. Henry Ford's affordable Model T and the growing number of cars on the road spurred the oil industry's revival and created new avenues for profit. He lived a life that demonstrated his rank as one of the wealthiest people of his time, complete with private yachts, elaborate carriages, and international travel. Elegant taste was evident in Rockefeller's outfit. He frequently mingled with the most powerful people of his era at lavish social events and parties that he held. A change in focus came with Rockefeller's retirement in the late 1890s. Having headed a massive corporate empire in the past, he then focused on charitable activities. So, where did he use all his wealth? 
He hoped to use his wealth for the benefit of society and make a significant, long-lasting difference. His belief in giving back to society led to the establishment of numerous institutions, universities, and foundations, leaving a lasting impact on education, medicine, and public welfare. In 1913, the world was about to undergo an unthinkable transformation. John D. Rockefeller, an oil magnate who had already made a lasting impression on the commercial world, had the idea that gave rise to the Rockefeller Foundation. With a $100 million inheritance, Rockefeller founded this organization, intending to transform his immense riches into a force for good. This amount, which is worth several billions in modern money, demonstrated the extent of his desire to have a significant influence. The Rockefeller Foundation's initial endeavors were a harmonious display of generosity. It addressed some of the most important problems facing society by concentrating on public health, medical research, and education. The Foundation has pioneered numerous fields over the years. It was essential to the Green Revolution and Agricultural Revolution that raised food yields dramatically and reduced hunger for millions of people. The path to becoming the first billionaire in history was certainly fraught with setbacks and victories, highlighting the amazing ability of people to shape their destiny and achieve even the highest goals. It begs the question, what incredible accomplishments are still in store for the next generation to record in the pages of history? Nevertheless, no matter how many come, Rockefeller's legacy will live on.